we have a lot to talk about in this one. If you want to hear more of an objective opinion on the game itself, I made a video kind of as my typical, uh, you know, slightly unbiased, mildly unbiased, I guess we could say, self. Um, but, you know, I'm a Buccaneers fan, and uh, I think we have to talk about this game and just the disaster that it was, and really this, this kind of the disaster this team is a little bit. I mean, this is just, it's just so frustrating. It just, you feel like this team should be way better than what they are. I mean, literally, they're the worst team in football right now. No team has had a worse two weeks than the Buccaneers. Uh, the, the Panthers are the team that everyone was saying was the worst team in football. They traded their best player, and they're not just beating you. They're crushing you. I mean, this wasn't even this wasn't even competitive. The offense never stood a chance in this one. And the, the defense, I can, you know, people have gotten on the defense, too. I can at least forgive the defense. You, you know, you have none of your corners available. You gave up some stuff to P.J. Walker. Uh, gave up a couple of bad runs you don't want to give up. But that is football. You are going to give up plays sometimes. I'm not going to crush the defense. But how is this offense the worst offense in football? It doesn't make any sense. Is Brady washed? He doesn't look washed. He might be. I mean, he's missing some throws. It's not... It's not not Brady's fault, but it's definitely not just because, like, I can wrap my head around, oh, okay, quarterback sucks, they're, they're missing throws, got it, that's the issue. That might be the case. It doesn't look like that's at least the only scenario. You have Mike, Mike Evans had a bad day, right? He had a couple of drops, he missed the block on a key uh, fourth and one, so maybe it's just that Mike Evans had a bad day, that'll turn around. Um, but if Mike Evans has a bad day, that shouldn't be the difference in you getting blown out by the Panthers. Like, that's that shouldn't be that bad of a game. I think the Panthers uh, didn't want to win this game. I think the Panthers are disappointed in this result as well. I think they want to get the number one overall pick. So beating the, I mean, uh, the, the Buccaneers were double-digit favorites in this one and how it completely goes off the rails. Uh, there's so much to get to. So uh, let's, on the offense, we'll start off with the offense. You have uh, Brady, who did not play well in this one. I've been I've been defending him pretty hard uh, so far, but this was not his best game. I don't think there's any denying that. Um, Mike Evans, who I love, Mike Evans, probably my favorite Buccaneer of all time, had a bad day. Like, that's just absolutely, if you watch the game, you're, you're going to acknowledge, yeah, that happened. Uh, you also have, I mean, you know, uh, the rest of the receiving core. It's like, why are there still so many plays? Listen, Carolina has a good defense. You can't take that away from them. But why are there just so many plays consistently throughout the season where guys aren't getting open? Like, this, do we need prime Julio Jones? Because I don't think we're getting that. And that's, you know, a concern if that's what we need. Uh, I don't think the offensive line was that bad in this one. Yeah, there were a couple pressures. Like, Brian Burns really uh, beat Donovan Smith badly on a, a rap. Like, okay, that happens. That's football. Like, your the offensive line's not going to hold up every play. But the, the lack of consistently getting open is a concern. The fact that every throw is like three yards down the field is a concern. I mean, it's, it's listen, uh, the average depth of target is actually a, was decent in this one. It was mid sevens. But it, it you know, part of that, I feel like is all the Buccaneers do is either throw the ball down the field or they're throwing five yards down the field. Can we get some in that 10 to 20 range, which usually is a big key to success? Um that feels like it's a part of it. But again, it's I, I, part of me wants to blame the coaching and be like, the coaching was an issue. The coaching is the issue. The coaching is the reason why this team sucks. And the coaching is very frustrating. We can talk about the coaching in a second, but it's just like talent wins football games. Like, I don't care how bad your coach is. I, I was getting on Zach Taylor constantly. He wasn't losing games like this back to back, like, you know, last year with the Bengals. So yes, coaching is a part of it. I mean, the back to back on third down and one and fourth down and one, giving the ball to Leonard Fournette just makes zero sense. I had the EPA stats up and no one's EPA was good in this one. Tom Brady had a, a an EPA of minus three point seven. So that means, you know, estimated points added. It's a cumulative stat. So how much points did you add when you threw the ball? What well, actually lost three point seven uh on throwing and they lost six point two on rushing the ball. They had actually over uh their overall EPA in this game was over minus I guess under minus ten. Uh so just a you know a disaster really. I mean just a complete disaster and it's just I don't know. It's so frustrating. And not to mention, you know, Leonard Fournette, uh, <laughs> he has, uh, you know, minus 6.2 EPA in his rushing attempt. Also, minus 2.6 EPA on passing to him. Why are we making Leonard Fournette such a significant part of this offense? He's not 
good. I mean, he's not a good running back. He's He was good last year. He hasn't played good. So let's stop using him. Like, let's stop making him. We're using him like the Panthers use Christian McCaffrey, uh, which is still kind of a mistake. You should probably always throw the ball, even if you have a Christian McCaffrey. But you should especially be making a, a pass first offense when you have, you know, guys like Evans and Godwin. And part of why this team looked so much better, I think, in the fourth quarter was because they finally opened up the passing game. And that's kind of what's happened every single time, it felt like. That's what happened against Pittsburgh, is they finally said, okay, let's throw the ball and see what happens. That's what happened against Green Bay. They finally said, okay, let's throw the ball down the field and see what happens. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe they're just not good. Like, it's hard to say. Like, maybe this just isn't a very good Buccaneers team. Their defense is good. Their defense is good. Again, injuries in the secondary really hurt them, I think. They... They, I mean, kept Tampa Bay in this game all the way until the fourth quarter. I mean, with the way the Buccaneers offense was going, uh, the only reason this was a competitive game was because of the defense. I'm not going to get on the defense. They made some mistakes. Fine. Yes. A couple of missed assignments in the running game is frustrating. Uh, you know, giving up that touchdown pass on third down was frustrating. It's not perfect. The defense still needs to be better, but I can forgive the defense. I can. It, it's, it's something that, you know... It's football. You aren't going to be perfect every single time. But this offense, is it, again, there's several things that we need to fix, right? Uh, I think one thing is you have to throw the ball down the field more. I think that's, and not even just, not even, I'm not even saying bombs. I'm just saying like these, you know, 15 yards down the field. We almost never see those. You saw a couple of Mike Evans got wide open on the outside on these like 15 yard, uh, you know, out routes against the cover three zone. And they just went away from that. I don't know why you go away from that. Like those were working consistently. And uh, I don't know. I think Rashad White should be the should be the starter. I think he's the better running back out of. He's much better than Fournette. I mean, you look at the stats. He only got four rushes in this one, but he was he got four yards per carry. Fournette uh, two point four. I think if White is in there on that four from one, I think he might get that first down. Like Fournette, love Fournette. Playoff Lenny, all that stuff. Uh, you know, great personality. Very happy with what he's done. He has not played well, and running backs fall off a cliff quickly. You can't be slow to make a move, and you certainly can't be slow to adjusting your offense to fit more of a a pass-heavy team. And again, I'm saying pass-heavy. You look at the overall, this has happened every game, where you look at the final, uh, you know, final stat line, and it's like Brady threw the ball 50 times, they only ran the ball like 15. What are you talking about? They're running the ball too much. It's not just, first off, it's, they abandoned the running game at a certain point because they it's not doing anything. Uh, but secondly, it's, uh, you know, how many times are they checking down? How many times are they throwing the ball to a to a running back or throwing the ball underneath, having these short passes situations. But it's also like they got to convert better. I mean, that's the final thing is like, and that I think they will do is like, you know, Brady has to start making throws better. Evans has to start catching the football. Uh, you know, there was a couple of like that. Chris Godwin almost made that great catch. If he does, they're doing well. Um, you know, I actually thought the offensive line, like I think that, you know, uh, getting rid of Gadecki, uh, not, not having him in as much helped the offensive line. Like, the offensive line wasn't the issue. Uh, it's just, you know, they're beating themselves in certain ways and I don't know if they're going to fix it. I hope they are, but I don't know. It's just, um, it's just a frustrating game right now. So, uh, frustrating team. That's my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.